right on here. Rubber spell I ran into. Yep. Sit. Sit. Be my wife. All right. I have gathered these stories afar, in the wind and the rain, in the land where the cattle camps are, at the edge of the plain, on the overland routes of the west, where the watches were long, I have fashioned in earnest and jest these fragments of song. They are just the rude stories one hears in sadness and mirth, a record of wandering years, and scant is their worth. Though their merits indeed are but slight, I shall not repine if they give you one moment's delight, old comrades of mine. Conroy, sir, or you'll miss him running through. Keep your shirt on, Salt Bush. They'll be yarded soon enough, and I can see them then. Not the same as seeing them run free. Besides, you see? See that colt from Regret? He should be seen in action. He's something special. Oh, you're not mistaken, Kate, my dear. He could be our finest yet. Come on, lads. Don't run him ragged. Get him into the yard. McGee, Salt Bush. Make yourself useful. Give him a hand. G'day, I'm Lee Kernigan. And this is the band. Well, some of them anyway. You'll meet the rest of them later. About 112 years later, to be exact. And that rustic gentleman that you met earlier with a handsome turn of phrase, well, that was Banjo Patterson. G'day. Now, he looks a little bit like Steve Bisley, don't he? <laughs> but don't let that throw you. He's Banjo, and he's the reason we're all here. You see, about 112 years ago, he started spinning yarns, mostly yarns about the bush. And he wasn't too bad at it either. Those words to Walsing Matilda you were singing earlier, well, he wrote them. 
He also wrote a poem called The Man from Snowy River, his most famous ever. And that's the story we're here to tell. So now, with your kind permission, allow me to introduce you to the people whose story this is. Well, there's a man they call the breaker who knows the wild bush horses best. He can read them like a book when to push and when to rest and they learn to know the saddle and they learn to know a name he can calm the rebel spirit of a cult that's never felt the rain dan mulligan's a bushman of hardened irish stock you go and, stand here, you and all there is going. about him Chiseled from this granite rock Though the bottle's his companion And his anger's quick to rise A harder working fella Yet be hard pressed to find The spirit of the high country Lives in these hills And the wild horses run Because the Osco rises and the Snowy River flows, that's where I'll be. In the heart of the high country. Oh, 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 oh. And there's Kate, the boss's daughter. She's known years of hardship there. Now this lean and lanky farm girl Is a woman full and fair Many men have tried their chances And as good as these men are There's been none to tame a spirit And none to take her heart Old Conroy loves this country Where he was born and raised on a selection handed down Where the wild horses range He's a man who runs the station Where they gather for the ride Across these grim and rugged hills Where the colts run free and wild The spirit of the high country lives in lads what do you think well the dark bay he's got a good chest he'd be a stayer and that coat he's got fine action and a good spirit you got a couple of good horses here a couple Christ. Oh, you won't mouth, see better boys. than this lot wiry and hard and strong i tell you lads we've got quite a year ahead of us what do you think of that colt mr conroy that's a fine animal sired by regret the famous racehorse i believe you'd all know that man <laughs> <Let's be laughs> sure you can tell he's one. from thoroughbred stock father he's exactly what we need to start a new breeding line precisely what i intend to do katie with a bit of luck and the lord's blessing this station will provide the most sought after stock in the country uh, mr conroy sir the cold from regret. What do you reckon he'd be worth? A hundred pound? <laughs> a lot more than that. What, a hundred guineas? <laughs> Son, that horse is worth a thousand pound at least. And was worth a thousand pounds. Bloody hell. What did you say, McGee? There's a lady present. Sorry, sir, I didn't mean nothing. Now you apologize to Miss Conroy or I'll knock your blog off. Oh, Dan, off. if I want an apology, I'll ask for it myself. You've got no right, miss, that's all. Well, don't mind me, Miss Conroy. It's just me way. I'm not all that educated or nothing. Why, well, you don't say. No, whoa, no, no, no that, that's an end to it. Any, anyway, you don't need to be a schoolmaster to appreciate finer words. I mean, there, there are poets out here in the bush, great poets. Is it any wonder? Have a look. 
There is poetry all around us. Now, old man Conroy likes to spin a few yarns himself. In fact, he was known for launching into poetry at the drop of a hat. This very hat, in fact. The melting of the snow. Now, he'll need some snow for this. Oh, thank you. There's a sunny southern land, and it's there that I would be where the big hills stand in the south country. When the wattles bloom again, then it's time for us to go to the old Monero country at the melting of the snow. To the east, or to the west, or wherever you may be, there is still no place like the south country, where the sky is blue above, and the grass is green below, and the old Monero country at the melting of the snow. Now the team is in the plough and the thrushes start to sing and the pigeons on the bough are rejoicing at the spring. So come, my comrades all, let us saddle up and go to the old Monero country at the melting of the snow. Oh, that's beautiful. One of yours, Mr. Conroy. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, anyway, lads, look, a fine station this will be if we stand about all day gas bagging. Dan, I'm very keen to get those colts broken. Including a colt from regret, sir. Uh, let him settle. Uh, tether him by himself for a while. Right, breaker, cut him out. Right, you fellas, can you bring them hobble belts and saddles over here? Now, Saltbush, why don't you go and take a little lie down? I don't want you to strain yourself at your age. I can break every one of them there call single-handed, and you know it. I said, lie down, you silly old coot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, them horses won't break themselves. You know, you can hurt someone doing that. He ought to be in one of them traveling tent shows. He was, my boy, he was. Well done. Well, well you'd be more used in a tent show than you would be around here. Which one's mine, then? Well, let me see now, Em. You can go and break in. The rocket horse on the porch. Good out. Ah, uh, anything you want me to do? Yes, you can go and wash your mouth out with soap. Oh, come on. All right, let me see now, Em. The fence needs painting. Yep, I'm your man. What color? With stripes, I reckon. Uh huh. Now, why don't you go into the shed yeah. and see if we've got any of that striped paint left? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> right, Breaker. Let's get to it. Well, it's right about now. Our story needs its hero to arrive. You can't really tell the story of the man from Snowy River without the man, can you? Of course, he's got to be able to ride. He's got to be fairly easy on the eye. Win the girl, charm the crowd, and to make casting him a complete impossibility, these jokers wanted him to sing too. Well, I guess you can be lucky sometimes.
in my blood Oh, I'm a southern son for a job of work. Thought you might need a station hand. Jeez, mate, you might let me get a word in edgeways. Well, you'd have to talk to the boss. Thank God for that. Where do I find him? You found him. John Conroy. Jim Ryan. Any good with horses? I can handle anything on four legs. So one's on two legs I have trouble with. You got a bit of a big mouth on you, haven't you? Where are you from? Up in the high country. Snowy Riverway. He hails from Snowy River. My dad was overseer on Kylie's run. Mick Ryan. He was a good man. Yeah, he was. He stopped working Kylie's run about four years ago. Yeah. Three bad seasons, the bank moved in, they let everybody go. But perhaps if they had to manage the place a little better. Oh, Dan, it can happen to anyone. It's bad luck, it's no one's fault. I was sorry to hear about the uh, passing of your father. Thanks. He put his life into that place. What have you been doing since? No, oh, this and that, moving around. But we don't need no swaggies. We do need a station hand. What? Well, you got more work than you can handle with the new herd. Oh, I think we've got enough men here. Well, I reckon we should give them a go. Uh, Kate, is, is, isn't there some uh, linen you should be pressing? <laughs> I'll take care of this. All right, Father. I'll tell you what, Jim Ryan, I liked your old man, respected him. If you're half the horseman he was, you'll do. Well, I reckon I am, sir. I'll give you a chance to prove it. We're breaking a handful of colts just in from the hills. If you can do the job, we'll keep you on. But, Mr. Conroy, Stow sir... your gear in the bunkhouse. I won't let you down, sir. Just make sure you don't. Hey, mate, where'd you get the pony? The Mark Foy's catalogue? <laughs> <laughs> Saved him from the glue factory, looks like. You fellas really know how to make a bloke feel welcome, don't you? Well, you're not. Listen, mate. I don't know what I've done. Showing off to the boss's daughter. Jeez, you call that showing off? You need to get into town more often. <laughs> you got a big mouth on you, haven't you? But up here, we let our riding do the talking. So we'll see if you got such a big mouth when you're in the breaking yard. Yeah. We'll see. Right, Breaker. Right, right, Tomo, let's get him out. Right, what are we calling this one? Bone Shaker. Bone Shaker. And I'll wager that's exactly what he does. Say your prayers, Tomo. The first rider is Tomo. There's not much of him, but his big heart makes up for his size. And he's tough as old leather, and he'll never back down. <laughs> what, you you won't find up. a horse on, he won't man. ride. And he tightens the girth. Pulls down his hat. Take your time now, Tomo. Roll in, Bushik. Ease that foot in. Sit up. And he eases on over. Who's next? Right, we've got Mutton on Twister. Now Martin's a bragger and he makes a claim No horse got the better of him They can twist, they can turn, they can strike at the bit But he reckons he's never been thrown He tightens the girth He pulls down his hat He 
Jesus is on our own. Now this is Bluey. He is one of the finest riders in the country. He might be able to learn something of him, Sonny Jim. I'm sure I will. Maybe he knows everything, do they? Well, some people think they do. You said Bluey. No. Oh, yes, you are. Now Bluey's a shy bloke. He don't talk very much. They reckon a cat's got his tongue. But he was born in the saddle. A high country boy. He'll do what's gotta be. Up now, boys. So they tighten the girl. Bit of help, boys. They pull down his hat. And they ease him on our well back. Well done, boys. Right, that is Jim's turn. Now he can show us what he's made of. Well, we'll save the cult from our regret for the new boy. Oh, no, 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 no. He was going to be mine. Oh, come on, Dan. Let's see what Jim can do with yes, him. Yes, Dan, I was going to keep the cult for you, but never mind. Have a go, young Ryan. You've broken a horse before, I dare say. I have, sir. Then proceed. Right, Mr. Roy, let's get a saddle on him. When you're ready, boy, come All on. All right, there, mate. Hold him steady. Right, get in there. Come on, Mr. Ryan. Oh, boy. Good boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa mate, you're getting him fired up. Calm him down. Oh, Calm him down. Oh, oh boy. Good boy. Good boy. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. Mate, this is no good. This is no way to break this horse. I thought you said you'd broken horses before. I have, sir, but not like this. Oh, dearie me. He's a bit too spirited for you, is he? Well, of course he's spirited. That's why he needs to be broken, I would have thought. <laughs> yeah, but not this way. Well, what other way is there? You have to break him without breaking his spirit. Oh, he wants to take the horse out to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> what, take him down the pub? <laughs> oh, what a lot of cods, Wallop. Where did you say that you were from again? Town, wasn't it? Well, maybe you should go back there. I'm disappointed in you, Jim Ryan. With respect, sir, I just know there is a much better way of handling this horse. There is no better way. I've been working with these animals for 40 years. Do you presume to tell me? I don't know what I'm no, doing. Father, I'm sure he meant no disrespect. Please, Kate, I'm sure the men will be wanting a fee. That's him. Them who deserve it. Now, Breaker, you can deal with the colt in the morning. Yes, sir. Now, Ryan, you're welcome to take some food and drink with us, but then I suggest you be on your way. Break him without breaking his spirit. <laughs> well, I hope you appreciate what I just did for you. You just got me into a whole ton of trouble. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you don't much care for this place. Well, I'll tell you a secret. Me neither. We're the same, you and me. We like our freedom, don't we, eh? And I'll tell you something else. I know you're not the big wild beast that you make yourself out to be, are you, mate? No, you're just as sweet and lovely as Manana's peach pie, aren't you? Hey, good boy, good boy, good boy. Whoa, whoa, mate. Whoa, whoa, boy. Whoa, good boy, good boy, good, good boy. Good boy, good boy. Whoa, whoa. Oh, mate, good boy, calm down, calm down, calm down. Relax, relax. Mate, they've all gone, you can just relax. It's just you and me. That's the way. Good boy. Good boy.
You know what? You're about the only friend I've got around here. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see you there. I saw you. <laughs> when did you learn to speak horse language? Oh, first time I heard my Aunt Winnie. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, well. <laughs> Looks like you've been riding that horse for years. Yeah. Different fella now, isn't he? Yeah. How did you do that? Nah, you just learn. Reminds me of my first horse, this bloke. 
Flaxland, his name was after the explorer. Where is he now? My dad had to sell him. Well, I bet he was beautiful. Just like this fella. Yeah. Same sense of humour. Colts like a bit of sweet talk. Phillies don't mind it either. <laughs> so, uh, how long are you planning on staying? I don't know. Don't make plans as a rule. Oh, we should stay for tea at least. Oh, yeah, I plan on doing that. <laughs> so, you're a bit of a loner then, are you? Not really. You're fond of your own company? No, it's not that. It, I just never found anything to hold me in one place, that's all. Maybe I was born to be a travelling man Maybe I was born to lose at love To walk alone and never find The one that I was dreaming of The rope that pulls the winds tangled round my heart Seems my emotions are falling apart Anywhere the wind blows, that's where I'll be The rope that pulls the wind's got a hold on me Feel my sorrow catching up to me when those old memories track me down. It won't take long, and I'll hear the call of the high road leading out of town. The rope that pulls the winds tangled round my heart. Seems my emotions are falling apart Anywhere the wind blows, that's where I'll be The rope that pulls the wind's got a hold on me I've never met a man like you, Jim Ryan. I've never met one like you. What? I mean a girl. I've never met a girl. Oh. Well, well, I've met a girl, but oh. I've never met a girl like oh, you. Okay, thanks. No worries. <laughs> well, it's late. I better get to bed. Yeah, me too. I mean, so should I. I mean, on my own. Well, not on my own, with the boys, but by myself. Good night. Good night. <laughs> yeah, I know. I buggered it up. As usual. How about I give you a good night kiss instead, eh? Lies beyond the western pines, towards the sinking sun, and not a survey mark defines the bounds of Brumby's run. On odds and ends of mountain land, on tracks of range and rock, where no one else can make a stand, old Brumby rears his stock. A wild, unhandled lot they are, of every shape and breed. They venture out neath moon and star along the flats to feed. When the dawn makes pink the sky and steals along the plain, the Brumby horses turn and fly towards the hills again. 
traveller by the mountain track may hear the hoofbeats pass and catch a glimpse of brown and black dim shadows on the grass. The eager stock horse pricks his ears and lifts his head on high in wild excitement when he hears the Brumby mob go by. Old Brumby asks no price or fee or all his wide domains. The man who yards his stock is free to keep them for his pains. So off to scour the mountainside with eager eyes aglow to strongholds where the wild mobs hide, the gully rakers go. A rush of horses through the trees, a red shirt making play, a sound of stock whips on the breeze, they vanish far away. Ah me, before our day is done, we long with bitter pain to ride once more on Brumby's run and yard his mob again. The Brumbies are here! going on. That's how Future just jumped the fence and joined those wild bush horses. And had joined the wild bush horses. I told you, sir, we should have broken that call before sundown. He wasn't ready, I tell you. Yeah, I reckon you've told us more than enough, son. Do you think your old man would have made such a, such a foul Father, up? Father, it's not Jim's fault. Hold your tongue, Kate. I gave the boy a chance and he threw it away. That colt should have been broken and yarded with the others. And then you would have lost a bloody lot of them. You watch your mouth boy. There's a lady present. No one is going to hang on to a horse like that unless he trusts you. Trust? You talk to me about trust? Dad, get the word out. I'm putting a price on that horse's head. A thousand pounds. And I want every crack rider within Kuya of this place here by shut up. That colt's not getting away from me twice. And I want you out of here tomorrow. Father! Ah. Father! He didn't mean what he said, Jim. Save your breath, Kate. But he doesn't understand. He didn't see what you did with the colt. And he wouldn't believe it if you told him. So you're just going to walk away? You heard him, Katie. wants me out. Is that what you've been doing for the last four years, bolting like that horse? Steady on. Bloody men, you're as stupid as each other. <laughs> Oi! What's your language? There's a lady present. <laughs> it's just that sometimes I reckon the quickest way to make enemies is when you try to make friends. None of them want me here. Well, what about what I want? Well, I don't know what you want. Crikey, you don't even know what I want. Don't you reckon it's time you figured that out? You know, Father's right. The cult from regret is our future, if we're going to have one. And I've worked too hard to let this station go the way of Kylie's run. Well, I won't let that happen to you. That's one thing I do know. These hands can turn timber into good stockyard rails this back knows the burden of toil between fixing up fences and falling behind well i reckon i've been through it all never knew i had feelings like this and so much could change with a kiss it's just me and you and the Kosciuszko moon all at once the world is standing still with the moonlight in your hair and the softness of your skin taking me somewhere I've never been 
It looks like the man gets the girl after all. Had me worried there for a minute. I thought we'd never get to the next horsey bit the way those two were carrying on. But you know, things are hardly apples, are they? The cult's gone and with him the station's future prospects. Jim's lost old Conroy's respect and with it any chance of getting Kate's hand. Dan and the men are never going to accept Jim. Someone's just knocked off the fence. And it's 10 minutes to interval for those who are counting. Well, all of that is about to change because uh, if I'm not mistaken, the sound of thundering hooves can be heard in the distance. Oi, I said the sound of thundering hooves can be heard in the distance.
Okay, boys, let's ride! We're the boys from the bush and we're back in town. We get high when the sun goes down. We're live members of the Outback Club. Just boys from the bush and from the scrub. We've been riding hard, we've been mustering stock, we've been breaking them in, we've been hitting them all. We're bringing down wild horses on a high plains run, but that Saturday night, we're gonna have some fun. We're the boys from the bush and we're back in town, by the campfire lot we pass a bottle round. We're live members of the Outback Club Just the boys from the bush and from the scrub Now we've been up in the hills Working on the track Been in the saddle all week Living out of a swag We curse the rain We curse the drought And that Saturday night and we're all in the shout Cause we're the boys from the bush And we're back in town We get high when the sun goes down We're live members of the Outback Club Just boys from the bush and from the scrub Well that's time for the horseshoe shuffle Hey turn to the right boys Bring them on round Walking straight to the end of the ground Turn them back to the other side Now go for a side pass to the right Take a walk back to the left again And now close it on in next to your friend Well, the back line left and the front line right Now bring it into a straight line What a sight! What do you think, everyone? Now the Colts go forward and the Phillies go back. The front line turn left as we hear the whip crack. We've got to pass it on through with the dulcet door. Now some horses turn, get ready, now go. And the last time in, it's a long straight line. Well done, boys. You've done four. the land through fire and flood it's in our hearts it runs in the blood with the boys from the bush and we're back in town we raise hell when the sun goes down we're live members of the outback club just boys from the bush and from the scrub yeah with the boys from the bush we're back in town we get high when the sun goes down. Who are we? We're live members of the Halfback Club. They're just boys from the bush and from the scrub. They're just the boys from the bush and from the scrub. Ladies and gentlemen, some of Australia's finest high country horsemen. Just boys from the bush and they're back in town. We raise hell when the sun goes down. We're live members of the Outback Club. The just boys from the bush and from the scrub. There's the boys from the bush and from the scrub. We'll be back!
Matilda, Matilda, my darling, you come wolf sing Matilda with me. Wolf sing Matilda, beating a holy song. You come wolf sing Matilda with me. Well, welcome back to the second act. It's the night before the big ride, and as Banjo will soon be telling you in words more eloquent than mine, all the tried and noted riders from the stations far and wide have gathered at the homestead overnight. Geez, that wasn't bad. Shall I go on? <laughs> as the sun sinks slowly in the west, and the smoke from their campfire rises, talk and its natural companion a little grog has led him to be telling some tall stories. Geez, starting to sound like a bit of a poet myself, but uh, I think I'd best leave that to you, eh? Banjo. The daylight is dying away in the west. The wild birds are flying in silence to rest. In leafage and frondage where shadows are deep, we pass to its bondage, the kingdom of sleep. And watched in your sleeping by stars in the height, we rest in your keeping, O oh, wonderful night. When night doth her glories of starshine unfold, it's then that the stories of bushland are told. Unnumbered I hold them in memory bright, but who could unfold them or read them aright? Beyond all denials, the stars in their glories the breeze and the miles are part of these stories. The waving of grasses, the song of the river that sings as it passes forever and ever. The hobble chains rattle, the calling of birds, the lowing of cattle, the splend with the words. Without these, indeed, you would find it ere long as though I should read you the words of a song that lamely would linger when lacking the rune, the voice of the singer, the lilt of the tune. And as one half hearing an old time refrain, with memory clearing, recalls it again. These tales, roughly wrought of the bush and its way, may call back a thought of the wandering days. And blending with each in the memories that throng, there haply shall reach you some, some echo of, of song. song. Oh, does God's earth get any better than this? The drift of the wood smoke. The wondrous glories of the everlasting stars. Well, there's only um, one thing missing. Yeah, a bloody comfy chair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. There's two things missing. Well, a few women wouldn't go astray, <laughs> neither. No, no, no. What I'm talking about is a few yarns. Yeah, what's a campfire without a few tall stories? Well, I got a few I could tell you, but the old throat's a little dry. Right, uh, well, uh, get that up, you breaker. Ah, uh, uh, mother's uh, milk. <laughs> Mr. Conroy. Uh, uh, no, thanks, breaker. Look, I, I think I'll leave you all to it. Uh, have a good night, lads. Good night, Mr. Conroy, sir. <laughs> night, sir. Boys, anyone else for a drink? Ah, oh, we could here. all do with some of that past the bottle, boys. Yeah, okay, well, I knew these couple of riders who came down from up north. Okay. And they would stand up on the saddle when they galloped a horse. No, you can't do that. And boys, blowing me down if that wasn't enough. They'd run at full pace, riding back to front. No. Pull the other one late. Would I lie to you? Pull the other one late. Boys, I swear it's the truth. We've heard some yarns, but that tastes the cake. A couple of riders do that.
was great. But fellas, oh, I've got one you're gonna love. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. Okay, will you sleep? I reckon our Jim Dooley had the fastest buckboard in the state. Jim yeah, Dooley, yeah, the yeah, fastest yeah. buckboard. You see, he drove from Tarara to the station, are you ready for it, in four hours straight. <laughs> <laughs> Old Johnny Riley with a belly full of grog could have done it in three with his eyes blindfolded. Oh, no, you're dreaming. Pull the other one, mate. I'm not pulling the wall. Pull the other one, mate. It ain't no pull. We've heard some yards, but that takes the cake. A ride like that. Pull the other one, mate. With the belly full of grog and all dancing. Now, quick, right, I'll have a bet on you. Kick. All right. Okay, what do you got there? You got a double on the nerves. Right. I got a power curve. You got a power curve. Right. You got a power curve. Right. 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 Okay. Hold it on this, brother. Very good, but I've got one for you, boys, and it goes a little bit like this, right? You see, I knew this fella, right? Back in them '83, and without the word of a lie, he was the best whip cracker that I ever did see. And this is what happened, right? He said, "You see this blowy flying boy, and with a crack of his whip, he took him from the sky." Pull the other one, mate. Hey, I seen it with my own eyes. Pull the other one, mate. I will tell you no way we fly. We heard some yards, but that takes a cake. I won't do that. It's true, I tell you. Pull the other one, Come on. 
I called you. He was good. Yeah, I had a impressive. very vivid imagination. Okay, fellas. Lonely back road, out the back of Muckadilla. <laughs> <laughs> I came across a stockman who just mounted his oh, coat. Oh, oh, no, 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 what a sight that was. <laughs> <laughs> to catch a runaway coach. Because the team had done a bolt. Oh, Dan's Down the road. That. No brakes. Full gallopy road. He drew up alongside. He leapt onto the team without breaking his stride. No. <laughs> For the other one, mate. Would I lie to you? For the other one, mate. Boys, I swear it's the truth. We've heard some yards, but that takes the cake. I'd like to do that. He mounted his collar. Well, I'll eat my head. Morning. Morning, Kate. Listen, about last night. Oh, that wasn't your fault. I kissed you first. Oh, no, not the kiss. No, that was Butte. <laughs> I'm talking about the cult. Oh, well, that wasn't your fault either. So, are you getting ready to go on the ride? No, I'm getting ready to leave. Oh. Oh, well, I was going to wish you luck. Well, you can still do that. Well, I'm not sure I still want to. What do you mean? Well, I just never pictured you as a quitter, that's all. I'm not a quitter. Well, you could have fooled me. You're running out, aren't you? No, for once I'm trying to do the smart thing. Chasing that colt over some of the roughest mountains in the country with a bunch of blokes who just as soon ride over the top of me just doesn't seem like a good idea. And giving up does. Kate, you don't understand. Yes, I do. I understand that for once you have something to hold on to and you're going to let it go. Are we still talking about the colt? <laughs> Look. Jim, I believe in you, but you have to as well. Oh, come on, this is your chance. Don't throw it away. Ryan, I thought I'd given you your marching orders. Uh, Mr. Conroy, sir, no, I was just... No, no explanations. I can see what's happening here. Kate, I want you inside. Ryan, I want you off my property. Father... As you wish, Mr. Conroy. Goodbye, Kate. Godspeed, Jim. Father, you're making a mistake. No, you're Jim's making, a good man. You're making the mistake, Kate. He's let me down. If you pursue this, he'll let you down. Father, you're wrong. I'm doing this for your own good. I've seen his type before. Now, in time, you'll thank me. I'll hear no more on this. Will you love me, sweet, when my hair is grey? And my cheeks shall have lost their hue When charms of youth shall have passed away Will your lovers all prove true? For the looks may change and the heart may range And the love be no longer fond Wilt thou love with truth in the years of youth And away to years beyond Oh, I love you, sweet, for your locks of brown And the 
blush on your cheek that lies but I love you most for the kindly heart that I see in your sweet blue eyes for the eyes are signs of the soul within of a heart that is leal and true my own sweetheart I will love you still just as long as your eyes are blue The locks may bleach and the cheeks of peach may be reft of their golden hue. My own sweetheart, I will love you still, just as long as your eyes are blue. Morning, boys. What a day. We'll get that colt back or die trying. They're saying the most famous crack riders in the state are coming. Including old man Harrison and Clancy at the overflow. Today is going to go down in history. Hey, listen. Oh, I can hear him. Oh, they're gathering for the ride. <laughs> oh. at the station for the word had passed around that the cult from old regret had got away and had joined the wild bush horses he was worth a thousand pounds and all the cracks had gathered to the fray all the tried and noted riders from the stations near and far had mustered at the homestead overnight for the bushmen love hard riding where the wild bush horses are and the stock horse snuffs the battle with delight there was Harrison, who made his pile when Pardon won the cup. The old man with his hair as white as snow. But few could ride beside him when his blood was fairly up. He would go wherever horse or man could go. And Clancy of the Overflow came down to lend a hand. No better horseman ever held the reins. For never horse could throw him while the saddle girths would stand. He learned to drive while riding on the plains. And one was there, a stripling, on a small and weedy beast. He was something like a racehorse undersized, with a touch of Timor pony, three parts thoroughbred at least, and such as are by mountain horsemen prized. He was hard and tough and wiry, just the sort that won't say die. There was courage in his quick, impatient tread, and he bore the badge of gameness in his bright and fiery eye and the proud and lofty carriage of his head. But still, so slight and weedy, one would doubt his power to stay. And the old man said, that horse will never do. For a long and tiring gallop, lad, you'd better stop away. Those hills are far too rough for such as you. So he waited, sad and wistful. Only Clancy stood his friend. I think we ought to let him come, he said. I warrant he'll be with us when he's wanted at the end. For both his horse and he are mountain bred. He hails from Snowy River, up by Kosciuszko's side, where the hills are twice as steep and twice as rough, where a horse's who strike firelight from the Flintstones every stride, and the man that holds his own is good enough. And the Snowy River riders on the mountains make their home, where the river runs those giant hills between. I have seen full many horsemen since I first commenced to roam, but never yet such horsemen have I seen. So he went. They found the horses by the big mimosa clump. They raced away toward the mountain brow. And the old man gave his orders, boys, go at him from the jump. They used to tie for fancy riding now. And Clancy, you must wheel him, try and wheel him to the right. Ride boldly, lad, and never fear the spells. 
Well, never yet was rider that could keep the mob in sight if once they gained the shelter of those hills. So Clancy rode to Wheelham. He was racing on the wing where the best and boldest riders take their place. And he raced his stock horse past them and he made the rangers ring with a stock whip as he met them face to face. Then they halted for a moment while he swung the dreaded lash. But they saw their well up mountain full in view and they charged beneath the stock whip with a sharp and sudden dash and off into the mountain scrub they flew. Then fast the horsemen followed where the gorges deep and black resounded to the thunder of their tread and the stock whips woke the echoes and they fiercely answered back from the cliffs and crags that beetled overhead and upward, ever upward the wild horses held their way where mountain ash and courage on grew wide and the old man muttered fiercely, we may bid the mob good day. No man can hold them down the other side. When they reached the mountain summit, even Clancy took a pull. It well might make the boldest hold their breath. The wild hop scrub grew thickly and the hidden ground was full of wombat holes and any slip was death. But the man from Snowy River let the pony have his head and he swung his stock whip round and gave a cheer. And he raced him down the mountain like a torrent down its bed, while the others stood and watched in very fear. He sent the Flintstones flying, but the pony kept his feet. He crossed the fallen timber in his stride. And the man from Snowy River never rested in his seat. It was grand to see that mountain horseman ride. Through the stringy barks and saplings on the rough and broken ground, down the hillside at a racing pace he went. And he never drew the bridle till he landed safe and sound at the bottom of that terrible descent. He was right among the horses as they climbed the further hill, and the watchers on the mountain standing mute saw him ply the stock whip fiercely. He was right amongst them still as he raced across the clearing in pursuit. Then they lost him for a moment where two mountain gullies met. On the hillside, but a final glimpse reveals. On a dim and distant hillside, the wild horses racing yet with the man from Snowy River at their heels. And he ran them single-handed till their sides were white with foam. He followed like a bloodhound on their track till they halted, cowed and beaten. Then he turned their heads for home and alone and unassisted brought them back. But his hardy mountain pony, he could scarcely raise a trot. He was blood from hip to shoulder from the spur. But his pluck was still undaunted and his courage fiery hot. For never yet was mountain horse a cur. Kosciuszko, where the pine clad ridges raise their torn and rugged battlements on high, where the air is clear as crystal and the white stars fairly blaze at midnight in the cold and frosty sky, and where around the overflow the reed beds sweep and sway to the breezes and the rolling plains are wide. The man from Snowy River is a household word today, and the stockmen tell the story of his ride.
Well, they got the cult back. It's 112 years later, and it's time for a high country party. There was nothing going on in this old town Just one street and the shop shut down The sun has come, the grass is dry You came kicking up dust as you rolled by With tangled hair and spirit free Something stirred inside of me my world Your white smile turns hot and thin When your horse plays out then he won't give me I'm amazed at everything you do I burn for you Now there's a power I can't explain It's like thunder rolling across the plain But you rock, you rock My country world And you roll me in your loving ways and you shook, you shook The stony ground Rock my world. With your eyes so deep, they draw me in. You take me higher than I've ever been. And you rock, you rock. A country world And you roll me In your loving ways You went and shook You shook The stony ground Oh girl You rock You rock A country world Shook, yeah, shook the stony ground. Oh, girl, you rock my world. Yes, you rock my world. Yes, you rock my world. Rock my country world. Life is like a rodeo that ride can throw you around. It can take you to the heavens or send you crashing to the ground. And it's not a dress rehearsal, it's learning as you go. And I'm just another rider, this electric rodeo. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose But you gotta take your chances And give that dice a throw When you ride the electric rodeo Yeah, you 
For a 12 hour shift, back to the dirt and the dust and the grit. Down in a hole, the sun never goes. Doing time on my mother alone. I jump freight, I'm heading back. My destiny's down that railroad track. I'm gonna ride the Cobalt Line back to the line. Back to the life I left behind It's not a lie, I know it's mine I'm heading back on down the cold by line 
came in ships with words of loathing hanging off their lips. Passed out from the country of their birth, transported here to the ends of the earth. Their natural lives here under southern skies. I'm a southern son, I'm proud to be one. Bringing in the heat till the day was done. And I was born to this land. I'll be my stand. It's in my blood. Oh, 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 I'm a southern song. And they pushed the rail across the great divide. And in this arid land they lived and died The settlers followed to the great unknown Their children called the southern land their home Dreams were won and lost Under the southern cross I'm a southern son, I'm proud to be one Working in the heat till the day is done Land. I'll make my stand, sing my blood. Oh, 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 my southern Working in the heat till the day is gone When I was born to this land Don't make my stand It's in my blood oh, 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 I'm a southern son I'm proud to be one Burning in the heat till the day is gone When I was born to this land Don't make my stand It's in my blood
Ladies and gentlemen, please thank our cast. The horses and their riders. Australia's best bush dancers. And the Snowy River Band. And that man from Snowy River, where no others dared to go, he turned back the wild bush horses, single handed brought them home. And the distant drum of the bits of that bold and brave ride still echoes down the years and swells your heart with pride. There's a waving of grass in the breeze and a song in the air and the murmur of myriad bees that do toil everywhere. There is scent on the blossom and bough and the breath of spring is as soft as a kiss on a brow and the springtime I sing. There is drought on the land and the stock tumble down in their track or follow a tottering flock, the scrub cutter's axe. Wherever a creature survives, the axes shall swing. We are fighting with fate for their lives, and the combat I sing. <laughs> <laughs> 